When you say the word Cambridge to people, the first thing they think of is a rich, exclusive university, full of the privately educated elite, a city of privilege, gowns and champagne, a dwelling place of old Etonians. But this couldn't be further from the truth. Cambridge University is a diverse and open community, and you'll be surprised what you find. Because Cambridge University is open to all. It doesn't discriminate on social class, race, religion, or wealth. The common feature of a Cambridge student is their passion for their subject, and not their privileged upbringing. Cambridge students come from a variety of different backgrounds and schools. There's no such thing as a typical Cambridge student, and you'll find these stereotypes simply aren't true. Cheers. Oh yes, no, there's a very varied sports scene in Cambridge. I mean, I personally play croquet. Um, yes, no, it's a game for all players, it really is. I mean, some of my poorest friends play. Some of them come from schools that only cost about £9,000 a year. <laughs> Cambridge in three words. What's a word? Oh, oh no, no, I don't just do croquet. No, that would be ridiculous. Um, I also do cricket and polo. In Cambridge, there's always the opportunity to relax in the college bar. But of course, it's not all fun and games. Uh, and, and we're just going past Magdalen College now, um, named after Mary Magdalen, a uh, notorious misogynist. Uh, this is Clare's College, the gardens of which hosted the world's first upside-down snooker tournament in 1912. Uh, this is Queen's famous mathematical bridge. The long struts are made entirely out of a calculus, the little bolts are made out of algebra, and the little knobbly bits on the end are made of set theory. Every now and then, there's the chance to let your hair down in the college bob. I'm here at Cambridge University, a place which has remained mysterious to many people, and that's why I'm going to go and interview some of the students here to see what it is that really drives Cambridge. How modern are you finding the facilities? How are you coping with the stress? So, what, if you could describe Cambridge in three words. I need sleep. What are you, peasants? Hello! Hello! Uh, we are... Uh, I'm the president, and Danny is the uh, social, social secretary, secretary of Sydney Sussex RFC. And if you don't know what those letters stand for, frankly, you shouldn't be at Cambridge, and don't bother applying. Sydney um, RFC! Sydney RFC. Uh, this is a St John's College, originally built in uh, 1493 uh, out of jelly. But unfortunately it was discovered that jelly was not particularly structurally secure, so they changed its construction to be more in the style of brick and mortar. We had initiations the other night, and uh, we had a talk in the JT, and he, he probably vomited all over the wall. <laughs> what a performance. What, what a, a cat. cat. Um, so, so once I seen him do that, I was like, oh, I, can't, I can't buy that sort of thing. No, 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 so I, I fed my second beer of the evening to a passing cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably quaffed it away. Yeah, you know? you away. <laughs> uh, the down uh, one. Uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> meow. What <laughs> a lad cat <laughs> we had right there. Cat here. lad. Cat lad. Describe Cambridge in three words. I could do it in four. Too many poor people. Can you just like there's this little bit in the notes here? Like, like... are you enjoying the one-on-one -on -one contact time? <laughs> Can you just go away? <laughs> Well, I'm not one to kiss and tell, but I met up with this filly. Oh, oh a filly! She's quite oh, a charmer. Oh. And uh, I worked my charms in, and I uh, brought her back to mine. Oh. And she, uh, oh. she proofread my essay. Oh wow! She had, wow! She had, uh, she had the most amazing um, grasp of grammar. Oh, 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 what a woman! Yes, oh. are, you, are, 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 are you probably going to marry her? Well, no, but I am going to try to sit next to her in lectures from now on so I can oh. uh, copy her notes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't 
too much work. Because <laughs> I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm too busy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we can't read. <laughs> Uh, this mark you see to your right now is uh, the highest ever flood in Cambridge. This occurred when Winston Churchill famously jumped off this bridge, displacing vast quantities of water. Uh, this is King's College Chapel, uh, actually the smallest building in Cambridge. It was built by mathematicians who use perspectives to fuck with your head. Do you ever feel under pressure in Cambridge? Um. Three, three words? No. I wouldn't know. I haven't been out of my room in four months. Uh, punts were, of course, historically used to hunt whales in the can, but this has been banned recently. Yeah. So much sky! You have nothing to learn. Uh, to your right you see an example of a famous Cambridge sport known as tourist twatting, where you drive your punt in their way and irritate them. Let's do it now. People say Cambridge is like Harry Potter, but that's not true at all. Right, so you go out this evening? Yeah, 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 we'll be going to the bar a bit. Go okay. I'll be there at nine? Yeah, see you at nine then. So you're going to send these off with? Yeah, I think probably. Wicked. Right, see you later. Uh, we come up to, to Keys College. Ironically, they use pass cards. I've told you a thousand times, a thousand times. If no, 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 if no, 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 Uh, here you'll see some grass. This uh, famous monocotyl evolved 65 million years ago and allowed the rise of the mammals. How much sleep do you find you're getting in Cambridge? 